everybody. Oh, this was taxing. <laughs> I'm out of breath, y'all. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that helped put this together. It took a lot. It took everybody working together to pull this off because everybody knows my mother is, I'm not saying nosy, but you know, she likes to know everything, right? So, <laughs> trying to keep those folks a secret, a secret was really hard, so I want to thank everybody for helping me do that. And um, uh, Mama, some uh, out of town relatives were supposed to come, but they weren't able to make it because of the snowstorm. Okay, so, but they do send, you know, birthday greetings to you. I want to thank everybody for coming out and helping us celebrate my mother's 75th birthday. That is a blessing. That's a blessing. We love her and we're glad that God has spared her to be with us this long. She has been a comfort. She has been a help and... She's just been a whole lot to all of us, Amen. and we're glad that she's here. Um, we're going to go on with our program, and um, this afternoon we have um, Silky Smooth Sylvia as our MC. <laughs> Silky Smooth. <laughs> she's our MC for this evening, and she's just going to go ahead and follow the program. There have been some changes because, like I said, the out of town guests are here, so we ask that you just bear with us as we try to make this program program as smooth as possible. Can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah. All right. Come, come on, come on. I knew it. I knew it. She <laughs> needs this. Um, <laughs> but you know, I didn't have any problem persuading you. <laughs> what can I say about my mother? My mother um, uh, has been Florence Nightingale to me. As you know, when my illness, her and Sister Cena, my Auntie Cena, went to the hospital with my mother when um, the hospital called her and told her that I was in ICU. You know, my mother didn't know what was going on. And by the time she got there, she said, uh, the doctor told her, I've seen that. Doctors that had to make a medical decision, it was her life or limb. And she said, you cut off a limb? She said, she just tripped out. And she said she was so glad that Auntie Cena was with her to hold her up because she don't know how she would have made it by herself. Mm -hmm. And I'd stay my mother because uh, yeah. my mother okay. made me but I couldn't make myself. Yeah. My mother well, fed me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Took care of my daughter, took care of my bills. Well. She just took care of me. Right. And yeah. this yeah. doing this was it was no problem. I didn't care what I had to do, limb or no limb, I was gonna make sure that this went off for my mother because yeah. I truly do love her. Words cannot say enough, flowers can't be enough. Um, I don't think it's a short that I love her. She says, give her flowers while she's alive. They can smell them, that's what I intend to do every day of my life. There's nothing that my mother wants or that I can't get it. If I can't get it, I'm gonna try my best to get it. If I don't have it on hand, if she says, I want it, I'm gonna get it. Believe it, trust and believe as the kids say. I don't want her to want for anything. She wants to go to Idaho for whatever reason. <laughs> I'll let her, I'll allow her to visit Idaho. She can't stay, I'll allow her to visit Idaho. But I truly love my mother, and I want to thank everyone for coming out and helping us um, celebrate her 75th birthday. Thank you all very much. Back to you. Five years. Um, God has blessed you to be with me, and I hope we have many more years. I love you very much. You're my mama, Mama Bird. I love you, and happy, happy, happy birthday. Thank you.